If I were not a the sea, a ballerina would be happy all day long. And this would be my song. First position, second position, show my arabesque.
is the final evening here on the cruise, and we're going to ask everyone their opinion about the favorite thing or two things they did on the whole cruise. Let's start with Ashley. Go ahead, Ashley. What do you think? Okay, David. Let's go. Well, I have to say... Louder, I can't hear you. I have to say Scrabble. Scrabble was your most favorite thing? Jeez. Dan. Okay. What's your favorite thing, Dan? Do you understand how embarrassing it's going to look when we play it for everyone? Okay, Marcy, ready? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> okay, Ashley, you ready now? Okay, Mike, what's your favorite thing? I'm not sure. Come on, you have to give me an answer. Here we go. Casino. What? Favorite thing is a casino. What about singing a little with that guy today? <laughs> The sleeping? <laughs> Good. Matt? What's your favorite thing on the cruise? Kill Paul! Kill Paul! Kaylee? Marcy, move your chair in. Okay, Marcy, your turn. Marcy, what do you say? Ashley, you have your favorite thing yet? This is our closing night serenade because of Sharon. What is it? Yes. Smile, Karen. This is farewell evening on the cruise of our lives. Merv, tell us what you thought was the most outstanding part of the cruise. Well, the first thing I want to do is thank you and Sharon for inviting us. Oh, you're very welcome. It's wonderful to be with you. And a big mazel tov. Yeah, and a big mazel tov. <laughs> thank you. And Michael and Matthew and Marcy did a great job. Rabbi. <laughs> Let's think. What, are the, what, was the, what was the greatest? Well, you tell us what you think is the most eventful thing of this whole week. I think what, 
You know what was the most eventful? When I was when I saw you standing at the crap stable and then you closed your eyes and you said it's gonna hit the 11. That's right. That's <laughs> that was the most eventful. And, and you know something that didn't hit the 11. Oh. But you look very comfortable and very casual through it all. Thank you. So I must compliment you. Okay, that's your favorite experience? Yeah, that's my favorite experience <laughs> Okay. All right, Leslie, go ahead. Leslie, what's yours? Uh, let's see. The most enjoyable was the company we kept. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the most fun, I think. And what about the one event, the one thing you liked the most of the whole crew? I know what I'd say. Well, I like well, to give it to me. I like chasing after the fish. And the fish that's what I would have said. I swear to God, that's what I would have said. My most fun thing. Okay. Thank you. Way. Uh, Hi. Now, what do you think is the most fun the whole week? What was the one thing you had the most fun doing? I enjoy eating the most. The eating? The was great. Yeah. But the most beautiful thing was the carnival in San Juan. Really? How do you like that? Very beautiful. What was the what? The carnival in San Juan. When you look over the boat, the ship. That was gorgeous. Oh, the that Caribbean, was? The uh, Caribbean night, whatever That was, was the most beautiful. Remember? Okay. Oh, that was Mrs. Wallen? Okay, my favorite hour, 52 minutes and 30 seconds, was laying out on the 12th floor in the hot wind. Oh, that the was good. The hot wind on my face. That was, my that was favorite. your favorite? And Karen, what was your favorite? I'll scoot back so you don't get too close. <laughs> the machine automatically shut off. Okay. My favorite thing was, there were so many, but one of them, I like, the huh? I loved the shows. I loved all the shows. And I loved uh, that one where the Caribbean night when we were dancing outside and doing that Mexican dance like Margarita Margarita. <laughs> we laughed all that. Right, Caribbean night. That, that was your favorite. That okay. Was, yes, oh, let me take okay. Okay, okay. okay, let me take my glasses off. No, yeah. Oh my god, we're running out of energy. So I have to talk fast. Oh, I think my favorite two things of the whole cruise were. No, you're supposed to say one. My favorite one thing of the whole cruise, if it was just an hour, was the show tonight, which you're going to have seen earlier on in this video, so you'll know what I mean. It was hysterical, it was fun, but I can't say anymore. Thanks for coming. What was your second one? Was today snorkeling in Coco Bay. Suppose you had, so you had a good time. I did, but I think I would have had a horrible time if I was losing gambling, so play this at about 11.30 and I may have a different answer. Thank you. Bye. United Nations, we stopped off. <laughs> hey! We're going to sing this song to you. The wine steward. I have the words here for you to see. The executive chef and his team. We would like to take this opportunity to thank you for sailing with us this week on board the MS Sovereign of the Seas. We sincerely hope that you have enjoyed the overall dining room food and service as much as we have enjoyed serving you. It is truly a real big belt. Did we enjoy the food, kids? A 20. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And also this evening in your cabins, you will receive a comment card. We do kindly ask you to please take a little of your time. Sing! <laughs>
a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small, small world. Another dessert, please. simulated punching. I don't quite understand it myself, but it looks interesting. They're going to punch each other. How long does it last for? It's basically around five minutes. Yes. Five minutes? <laughs> Punch one of those faces. Punch the face you want to be. That's a bad Who's who? He's the blue guy. And he's the red guy? <laughs> just think it, just met Michael and Matthew, just think it's my face. Don't hit me, BB. <laughs> Give it to me, Matt. <laughs> this was one of the most best $8 investments I ever made. The Bayside Shopping Mall post cruise letdown in Miami, Florida, waiting for our delayed flight. Beautiful, beautiful mall. Beautiful, beautiful woman. You see this woman here? She's beautiful. She plays with her mouth. She has absolutely no panties or bra on underneath that outfit. You know, Sharon, she's just a little intriguing here on these vacations. Uh, let me take it of you. Do you have any underwear on, honey? Let's tell us. Back to the boxing. Was that a was that a good investment? Was that a good investment? Mike, was that good? Good. How do you box it? Matt, was that nice? What was it like? It's like real boxing. It's like good. First of all, I'd like to start off by saying that John has no idea what's about to happen to him. As you can see, it's a 10 gallon bottle of water that is about to be dumped on his head. Now, as Matt will show you, as he rides his bike without any idea down this road, he will park it. And right then, about, right about over there. Right about here. And then he'll get off his bike. A walk without any idea what's about to happen to him. Innocently, just through this gate. As now I'll show you. And we'll dump the water on him. Right about there, when he gets there. And right now, I'm going to be in the next room. This is and the view 
You'll be watching from. This is where I'm going to be taping it from, right here. He's going to be in this window right over here, right over there. And he's going to walk in. He's going to most likely see me, look up, and then Jeff is going to pour it on his head. So we'll be back when he's here. So good luck. Now this is a phone call. I wish we call him and ask him to come over. And he has no idea. It's about to happen to him. John? Hi. Um, you can come over now. The, the pool's filled up. Okay? So you'll be over here, like, right now? Okay. Bye. He's just about to come, and we're just going to get a view of where Jeff is. So wave, that's where the bottle's gonna be coming out. Right down there. Matt, can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Now, this is a brilliant view. He's coming right about now, so we'll see when he's coming. As all of you have seen, John has gotten away, so we're going to try again. We've lost our other mate, but John's going to help us out this time. And we have a guy by the name of Eric Watson coming over. And once again, he has no idea what's going to happen. We'll see you when he comes. Later. There's John this time. This is the view again. Here he comes. How's it going, Eric? <laughs> oh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was one of the funniest things that I've seen in a while. We got him good. We took one time when we messed up, but this time we got him good. All right. This is Marcy's first soccer game of the 1995-1996 season. They had a great escape. No score at the end of the first period. There's Amanda. There's Marcy. She gets the rest of this period. We'll ask her how it's going out there. Marcy, I think you're in somebody's seat with your team to cheer. Marcy, how was it out there this first period, Marcy? Mars, how was it out there this first period? With the score, Drake's two. Opponents nothing, let's pause. And it's now three to nothing. Guess what, it wasn't a quote wall. Here we are. I don't know why the date isn't on here, but this is December 15th, 1995, and the Woodbridge Warriors sophomore team is in a tournament in Fountain Valley, and in about 10 minutes we'll be playing Cyprus in the semifinals. And that's the Woodbridge team, and there's my son playing with his nose, and I'll be back to get to some game highlights later. There's the coach. And there's the team. The coach was nice enough to donate or buy for the players these really neat warm-up jackets that have all the players' names on the block. And like there's Charles Clark, Mike Wallen, Dave Cito, Robert Ninehouse, and a cast of thousands. Well, five minutes before game time, they're the opposition from Cyprus. And we're warming up over here. There's Gavin Clifford. That's Mike Wallen. 
we look at this later, I guess I better get some good pictures of them. There's Maxwell. David Cito, I think. Yes. Boy, is he tall. Robert Ninehouse. Team captain, Gavin Clifford and Mike Wallen. Me with the refs before game time. There's that shake of the hands. There Mike goes to take off his clothes. And the rest of the team continues to shoot. But Mike's special. Let's take three games. I paid Daniel to do a football game. Three game. You know what? It's about to start. Very exciting stuff. Very loud opposition. Doesn't look like we're intimidated. The game's about to start, ladies and gentlemen. I have the wide angle sports lens on this baby. Go Warriors! We'll be shooting at that basket. Mike is 22. Charles is 30. What number five? There's Fez, Gavin, Seth Jump Center. And Mike gets the tip. Mike gets the tip. All right. Ball goes over to Seth. Seth over to Fez. Fez to Charles. Charles to Mike. Mike to Seth, I think. Mike got it. To Charles. All right. Follow. 5 3, in favor of Cyprus. We're not rebounding very well so far. We're right in the game. Tough defense for Woodbridge. Fez is on him. Fez almost picks it. Mike's on him. No, that's Robert. That's Gavin. Jump. We are just not rebounding. It is unbelievably bad. Ball is 5-3. Gavin's driving. We're tied. Charles makes it. It's 5-all. Let's go defense! All right. Yes! Charles hits, Gavin Steele, 7-5. At the end of the first quarter, Warriors 11, Cyprus 9. Very tough game. They're beating us badly on the boards. We have better shooters. We've got to go to the ball. We get the ball out, start the second period. Brawl has it, throws it right away to start the half. Right away, turnover. After being up 18-11, the other team has come back to try the score, 22-22. There's just been a total lack of rebounding, and that's been killing us. Hopefully they can adjust at halftime. You're probably wondering why I turned off the rest of that basketball game you just were watching. That's because Michael's team sucks and they lost. And now here's Matthew, and notice he has a broken finger. I'll say hi, Matt. No, make a eye contact with the camera, okay? Matt, okay, Matt, this is December.